Hey guys, Piston Slap here, and today we're going to talk about how to change oil on a 2012 FZ8. Some of the tools you're going to need are a 17mm socket, a 3.8 ratchet, a 3.8 torque wrench, an oil filter cup socket, oil, and filter. You will find those tools listed in the links down below. Alright, getting things started. Uh, this engine was already previously warmed up and is now off, so what we're going to do is go ahead and loosen up that oil filter with the oil filter wrench. Turning it counterclockwise if you guys needed to know that. As this thing's coming off, you can see the oil kind of just drains down the side of the block onto the header, collector, stuff like that, but we'll take care of that on the other side of it once we get everything all reassembled. So once you get the oil filter off, pretty simple there, uh, just go ahead and let it drip. Now we're going to break loose and remove the oil drain bolt, which is located on the bottom left hand side of the engine. It's kind of neat and easy for this uh, particular model, um, you know, servicing my ZX636 is a little bit more things in the way, but this was pretty open. So we went ahead sped this thing up so you can see all the oil draining out it's brown it's not really dirty uh, the spike's got around 10,000 miles on it it's about three on the oil change so with that being said oil's drained out we're going to go ahead and uh, thread by hand the bolt back into the engine block I always say start a bolt by hand you don't want to cross thread that and make a mess and as always go ahead and uh, with your torque wrench go ahead and tighten that oil drain bolt down to the spec is 31 foot-pounds for this particular model um, or if you're in a different country 43 newton meters so get that good and tight uh, now we're gonna go ahead and spin that filter on uh, the filter that we got from Yamaha already had grease or a lube on the o-ring so go ahead start it by hand run it down till it seats and then the torque spec for the engine oil filter was 12 foot pounds or for you guys on the other side of the pond 17 newton meters so we'll go ahead and show you guys what it looks like with uh, torquing down the oil filter it's ridiculous but I want it done right I want to show you guys the right way to do it how you do it after that is on you all right, oil filters on, torque down. So like I said, we've gotten oil down there on that collector and everything, so just use this fabulous can of brake parts cleaner and we're gonna shake it all about and basically wash off all that oil and stuff that got on there because nobody likes drippy oil stuff on their exhaust, especially when they first fired it up. So after that, go ahead and take a rag, wipe it down, you know, it doesn't hurt. Now on to putting the good stuff back in the engine, spill the fill cap off. Gonna go put the funnel in. And this is on the right hand side of the bike. So we're on the other side. We'll pan the camera around here a little bit, but we went ahead and sped this video section up too because dumping three quarts of oil can take a while. So as you can see as the oil's going in, there is a sight glass down there by the foot brake. And you can see the oil actually running down through the sight glass. The spec for this bike is about 3.28 quarts or 2.9 liters. So dump three in it, put the fill cap back on, start the motor up, let it run for a little bit, shut it down, check your oil level. You're going to need to probably add a little bit. So see right here, we started up. stabilizes check the side glass it's between the marks of the high and low so it's in spec that is how you change the oil uh, any questions or comments please drop them down there in the box below if you like it hit that like button subscribe for future events and as always share it on Facebook or your favorite social media thanks again I'm Piston Slap have a great day